so welcome welcome home and welcome to this uh, winter solstice the yoga nidra inspired by the celtic wheel of the year and uh, inspired also by the qualities of this uh, special time of year where it's our darkest moment in the, in the northern hemisphere and I'm sat here in front of Dhumavati Yantra and if you can see her so she's providing support she's one of the great wisdom goddesses that structured my book Yoni Shakti and I've always felt that Dhumavati has a really special relationship with the practice of yoga nidra uh, yoga Nidra is often about the wisdom of forgetting and this is Dhumavati, the, the grandmother of all of the wisdom goddesses who teaches us the wisdom of letting go and forgetting and I feel that's really significant in this uh, winter solstice time. So this is a Nidra that is specially intended to welcome us home into this darkest time uh, just before all things start to turn and the light begins to come back. So I'm inside in the cold <laughs> in uh, the Cotswolds in the southwest of England, a very beautiful place, but very damp and a little bit chilly at this time of year. And I'm sharing instruments, um, poetry and prose from John O'Donoghue and David White. So I give thanks and praise to those great souls for all of the wisdom they've shared through their words. And um, yeah, I'm really trusting that uh, you can find a place to settle down. The best way to do this practice is to lie down. So you might like to find yourself a warm and comfortable place where you can be absolutely at rest, where you don't need to worry about anything at all turn the phones off shut the doors give yourself 20 minutes of rest time and during that 20 minutes my intention is that you won't have to do anything at all so um, I'll start now and there'll be the sound of these little beautiful uh, chimes so please get ready for this practice of yoga nidra it literally just means yoga sleep I think of it really in lots of ways like a kind of poetic form and in this poetic form I invite sound and the wisdom of words shared from the heart and I use a gentle structure of initially letting you have the time to come to come down to earth this time of year in the Celtic will of the year is really a time to uh, go to ground, you know, to really settle in. So make yourselves absolutely as comfortable as you might be. I'll be here. And although I can't keep a literal kindly watch over you, it is like as if my words and my presence here with these words and with these sounds create a, a really a space of being safe and sound as if I keep a kindly, kindly watch over you whilst you rest. And as you settle down into this resting place, I invite you simply to allow yourself to settle. There'll be the sound of some beautiful bowls, that's what I'm I'm hitting them now, gently encouraging these to be present sounds, very earthing sounds. Welcome home to yourself. So welcome home to yourself and welcome to this practice of Yoga Nidra with the intention to settle deep into this solstice time of year, this winter solstice. And with the longest of the nights and a time to rest. A sense of settling right down, anything you might be able to do that would allow yourself to be even a tiny little piece more comfortable, you go right ahead and do that. 
And you feel that as the settling process is happening, you're just making yourselves even more comfortable as if you're having a little conversation here between, uh, between what you love to be doing and, and how you love simply to be. It's a dropping, a dropping out of doing and thinking, a dropping into feeling and being. And if you could simply remember how it is that the body really loves to rest, settling down and maybe as you get a little more comfortable, allowing the eyes to close and know that you have arrived. You have arrived and there isn't anywhere else that you need to be going. There isn't anything else that you need to be doing. Simply to be here is enough. To be here is enough. There aren't any deadlines to meet. There's nobody to please. Nothing is required of you. Simply to be here is enough just as you are here in this special moment and you're in exactly the right place at exactly the right time. Simply letting go of the weight of the body into this horizontal place of being, letting go of being vertical. And in this letting go of verticality, of settling down into what it is to be horizontal, you're literally resting, falling back away from any outer targets, shifting the goal and the intention to state of simply being and noticing the natural exchange of the breath coming in and going out. Breath coming in all the way through to every cell of the body and breath going out. of having to do anything at all. You don't actually even need to listen to any of the words that are being said. Simply to hear that there is a voice is enough. And just to be here is more than enough. Simply allowing the breath to arrive and to depart in an easy and effortless rhythm perhaps invites a kind of balance in and out. And with every exhalation settling right back into this feeling of being held by the earth, of feeling all the places where the body really is being met by the earth beneath. It's your sense of just stopping for this short time, simply giving up on what you've been doing or how you've been being and simply coming to yourself just as you are. Welcome home to yourself. Welcome home to yourself. Remembering how it is simply be present and to welcome the breath and to have no particular intention other than to be in a welcome relation to rest, to let the whole body rest, as if every single piece of the land of this body as she rests upon the body of the earth, every single piece is welcome, welcome home to yourself. Slowly, slowly, coming home to yourself. Simply to be. And arrive.
arriving here, arriving in this openness of awareness, which is yoga nidra, arriving in this openness and simply, simply allowing for this openness of awareness, which is yoga nidra, to allow the rhythms of the body to reset, the rhythms of the body to reset to their great rhythms of life herself. I'm feeling how slow it can be in the deep winter time here in this place. Noticing the places where the breath comes all the way in and just before it turns, noticing the breath going all the way out, right to the end breath and just as the seasons turn around just as this earth's rhythms are held by this turning wheel of the year so let this land of the body receive 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 the rhythms of life in the form of the breath. As if every breath that leaves settles like the leaves in the falling time of the autumn down into the earth. So that every exhalation allows a deeper settling into the autumnal release and every inhalation recalls the tender arising of the spring and now in this moment free allowing all to be settling deep down in the winter, midwinter, when all the breath has gone out, maybe welcome that time in the turning of the breath. Welcome that time as the deep midwinter of the breath, all the way down into the place where the breath has gone right the way out like the midwinter of the breath allows us simply to settle and await the arrival of the spring maybe a long way off maybe there's a long time now with all the breath gone out and then just as the breath comes in Feel a little arising of the returning life. Arising of the returning light in the inhale. A letting go of the autumnal energies of release in the exhale. And all the way down into the deep midwinter of the breath. the end of the exhale when the breath has gone all the way out settling deeply down into that place and still simply welcoming all that arises in these four parts of the breath even noticing now when the breath is fully in like the summertime energy of light and fullness and long Every time the breath is all the way in, welcome that. 
summertime, in the breath, midsummer, in the height of the inhale, and midwinter in the depths of the exhale. Midsummer in the height of the inhale. Midwinter in the depths of the exhale and in the place where all of the breath has gone out. Savoring this moment, this moment of deep surrender into rest. welcoming all four parts, all four seasons of this breath as if the whole of every breath had all four seasons. And with this welcoming, let there be a welcome for any insight or guidance that might arise and know that simply to be here is enough. Simply to be here is enough. Now as the body rests that sometimes these desires to move or make the body even more comfortable, they also arise. And that's fine. Whatever occurs, that is welcome. And you are welcome just as you are, every part of you, as if deep in this quiet place of rest, Every single part of the body is absolutely welcome. This is the holy land of the body. <sighs> Resacralizing the whole of the body. Every part of this body is sacred. So invite for the awareness to travel through every part of the body as this land of the body rests upon the body of the earth, as the land of the body rests upon the body of the earth, and the whole of the awareness can come to the tip of the tongue, and welcoming the resting tongue. There is nothing to be said. Letting the tongue rest in the mouth. And as if all the little rivers and streams of the saliva and all the different taste sensations can flow and be welcome. Carry the awareness from the tip of the tongue to the root and all the way through the inside of the cheek. And welcome deep inside the head as if hidden deep in there like the, the roots and the corns and the bulbs and all the deep hidden roots of all of the plants resting in the winter. But deep somewhere inside the head, this resting can be welcome. Nothing you need to do carrying the awareness into the very back of the head between the two ears across the scalp. Every hair on this head is welcome. The whole of you is welcome and the whole of the back of the skull and the scalp and over to the forehead resting. two temples and let the eyes rest behind closed lids or gently resting, eyes resting, ears welcoming all of the sounds effortlessly through the spaces outside. Quiet midwinter time of rest along through the jaw 
come from the tip of the nose to the eyebrow center. Welcoming all sensations arising in perception. Welcoming all sensations arising in perception. In the whole of the face and the head. And letting the attention travel down through the land of the body, through the neck and the throat, to the back of the neck, and the two collarbones and the space between the collarbones. Resting, resting all the way through, as if in a little quiet valley, a little valley between the collarbones. shoulders, as if gentle streams of awareness would travel down the shoulders into the armpits and the arms and along the two arms, resting quietly like that. Awareness can bring this deep nourishment of midwinter rest, kind of nourishing stillness all the way through to the two wrists palms of the hands, the backs of the hands, and all the fingertips and the little spaces between the fingers and the fingers and the thumbs, and resting, welcoming all sensations arising in perception in the hands and the spaces in between the fingers. And the little spaces between the fingernails and the bends of the fingers resting. Deep midwinter moment of pause. Oh, welcoming the awareness to travel all the way back up from the fingertips, all the way through the wrists and the elbows and the shoulders. And down along through the sides, through the ribs and the space between the two shoulder blades and the back of the heart. Letting there be a little winter. Pause with every breath that goes out. Allowing the awareness to fill the whole of the rib cage and then settle right down. from there, welcoming all the sensations arising in the belly as if the awareness now could travel through the land of the body and move down through the groins and the buttocks and into the two thighs, knees, shins. to the soles of the feet and the heels, into the tops of the feet and the toes, each toe receiving, 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 receiving the light of Resting now in this deep midwinter pause with the whole of the energies of this time of year. Coaxing and welcoming the body into deep rest. Welcome home to yourself. Welcome home. Welcome home to
be yourself. Earth with the body resting upon the earth herself. Earth with the body resting upon the earth herself. Twitter. Energy rests. Mm, like the roots and the bulbs and the corms and all of the deeply rooted now. under the ground, resting upon the earth, midwinter rest, pop them out to yourself, and in this place, Simply receiving the sense of how it is to receive rest, as if the body might even actually be fast asleep. And notice that with every exhale, a kind of deepening down into the restful, maybe sleeping state of the body. And let that be balanced eventually when the breath comes back in in its own sweet time, the way that the light begins to turn and to come back just after the darkest, darkest moment before the dawn, the end of the exhale in the breath. Welcome again the inhale and feel perhaps there could be an alert, attentive space there, maybe awake on the inhale and deeply resting asleep on the exhale. A little conversation between these two, between the incoming breath and the alert mind, attentive. Welcoming all this in and then the exhale, letting the body really rest and the, allowing there to be a gentle conversation or shift between the inhale of being alert and attentive and welcoming all that arises and being conscious of all that's outside and then the exhale settling very very deeply down to letting the body rest and both of these states of awareness present at the same time now, how it would be to feel alert and attentive and awakened, and to feel at the same time able to rest very deeply, and how is that, to be resting yet alert, to be awake and asleep at the same time midwinter rest, alert and resting at the same time. And in this place, this place of inhabiting this paradox, feel perhaps a little welcome special turning moment of the midwinter, deep in the longest, darkest night. How is that? To welcome the light of the dawn that comes on the morning of the shortest day. delight in both the darkness and the light. As if settling into a deep moment of the primal exchange between these two states of being. When that deep rest welcomes the alertness
welcoming that moment. And a sense really of being fully present in this openness of awareness, which is Yogi Nidra. Fully present in this openness of awareness, which is Yogi Nidra. And welcome whatever arises. As if welcoming in the delight of whatever it may be that brings joy. So whatever it may be that brings joy and delight into this life, even the tiniest little piece of delight, welcome that in now. Whatever place or person, whatever creature or plant, whatever taste, sound, song, smell, whatever it is that brings delight, whatever in the world and all its forms brings delight. Let there be a welcome for that deep inside as if from that outer delight there could be a meeting with the inner space of a joyful welcome. A joyful welcome for whatever it is that brings delight. Receiving and responding occurring in one spontaneous movement of awareness so that every single cell perhaps is soaked in this delight. In anticipation of seeing the world and all its forms. When at last we choose maybe to open the eyes or to rest even for a little longer by adjusting the body I'm feeling how the earth of this body has rested upon the earth herself. And welcoming in the blessings of the practice of having been in this blessed state of rest. And in that welcoming and reawakening, we enter a liminal space. So the practice of Yoga Nidra is now complete and in its completion. And in this welcome for any movement or delight, you welcome in a liminal space. It's a place at the limits, at the edge of one thing before you get into another. It's a very precious little place. So you're welcome to hover in that space. As long as you're comfortable, you might want to shift the position that you're in in order to be a little more comfortable and offer a little piece of a blessing. And it's a blessing for the earth herself as we settle deep into this midwinter moment, resting upon the earth. And we bless and thank, bless and thank the humility of the earth that transfigures all that has fallen of outlived I'm thanking the kindness of the earth, opening to receive our worn forms into the final stillness. Let us ask forgiveness of the earth for all our sins against her, for our violence and poisonings of her beauty. Let us remember within us the ancient clay, holding the memory of seasons, the passion of the wind, the fluency of water, the warmth of fire, the quiver touch of the sun, and shadowed sureness of the moon, that me, we may awaken that we may awaken to live to the full the dream of the earth. That may, we may awaken to live to the full the dream of the earth who chose us to emerge and incarnate its hidden night in mind, spirit and life. 
as you breathe and move and stretch, give thanks to the earth beneath. As a blessing from John O'Donoghue's in praise of earth. And I give thanks to you for participating, for listening, for being in this special and sacred place of rest. And at this midwinter moment, I honor the capacity of the earth to rest and for us to rest our bodies upon the earth. And I give thanks for the, the turning of the light that leads us now out of this deep darkness and towards a shortening of the nights and a lengthening of the days. So thank you very much for listening. The footnotes, <laughs> if you want, uh, that may be interesting to you. But I was playing a little sansula here. I was playing some chimes, koshi chimes here. I was playing two really very special and large bowls here. And in that settling process at the beginning, I interweaved some beautiful words of wisdom by David White. It's actually prose from his consolations. And that was a reflection upon, upon rest, which seems to me the deep space <laughs> that this time of year is calling for us to honor. So honoring the rest, and I was sharing from consolations, the solace, nourishment, and underlying meaning of everyday words. So with thanks to, uh, to those people whose work I've quoted, to David White, to John O'Donoghue, to the deep midwinter of the cold north, <laughs> December and um, yeah I share this practice as, as a, a way that I found helpful to allow this body to be nourished during this time rest well dream well give thanks and praise to the earth who holds us safely here and uh, let the earth of the body be nourished with thanks namaste thank you for listening thank you